Hello once again and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be learning how to connect CJ Dropshipping to eBay. CJ Dropshipping helps you with great fulfillment in terms of tracking orders, uh, quality inspection and of course custom packaging among many other things that you can benefit for using CJ Dropshipping. And to access CJ Dropshipping, you simply go to cjdropshipping.com and I'll be leaving that link in the description of this video. Now eBay on the other side, uh, that is eBay.com, the link is available in the description of this video. Again, you can now use eBay, as you can see here, to sell your products online and you can stay connected with eBay through your Facebook, through your Twitter, that is through your Facebook and through your Twitter accounts. So now how do you connect your CJ dropshipping to eBay? So here, after registering to your CJ dropshipping account, you will simply come to the top corner here, to the top left corner, and under authorization, you notice we have Shopify, wait to see, TikTok, WooCommerce, eBay, API, Etsy, AliExpress, and all these plus others that you can see down here. We notice there are so many. So our interest is with eBay. So we'll also go to my eBay account and here is my eBay account. And for me to start selling, I'll need to create a product on my eBay account. And that is so easy. When you go to your eBay account, you simply click on sell at the top here. Then you click on list an item and then you follow the procedure and list the item that you need to sell. You notice here we already have our item to sell. We have a draft there of the item we want to sell. And down here, once you scroll down here, you notice you have the list of items for free every month. In this case, my items are 200. So, you see, so it's important to work within your limit here. So I'll now go back to my dropshipping here and I click on authorization. Then I click on eBay and it brings me to this site. You haven't authorized any stores yet. So I want now to add a store. So I'll click on add store and then I'll scroll down and come read these terms permissions. That is view public data for eBay and all these other details. Then I'll click on agree and continue. And it's important to read all the details there. So you notice now we have authorization success and CJ will help you make dropshipping business much easier. And so with that, my account is already linked. My eBay, my CJ dropshipping is already connected to eBay. To confirm that, I simply come back to authorization. At the top here, check on eBay, click on it to see if there's any connection to an eBay account. And here we have it. You notice we have our store, eBay, here. And then we don't have the store name, but it's already authorized and we can now edit the non-public store name here. To do that, I'll click on that and give the store name. Let me call it Josh Store 2023. And there we have our CJ dropshipping connected to eBay here. So that is how you do the connection. Now, how do you do the listing? Now, with my account already successfully connected, I want now to focus on the product that I want to sell or to list on eBay. So I can search my products here, or I can search them here according to these categories. So let me assume I'm selling men's clothes, or my target is the men's clothes. I'll click on that and then I'll come down here and look at the items. I can look at the details, at the prices and all that. I can also sort them here. I can sort them by best match, either lists or the prices or the newest. So I can do all that here. So let me just focus on one item. Let me look at the men's 3D casual button, this cloth item here. I can check its details by just clicking on it once to get the details about it. So here it is, it's men's 3D casual button down printed shirt. Here it is. Notice we have the images here. You can just see 
how the images look like for that clothing. Then I can scroll the details here for the size, the service fee, and the total price. And if now I'm satisfied with that product, I click on list. And this will now add the product to my store. So if now I click on list, you notice now it brings us, remember here we are at dropshipping.com, but you notice now our eBay store here has already been connected. You notice our logo here. So now I can make the changes here. The listing site, is it in the US, Australia, whichever place I want to select here. I just select it. I can now change the details that I want to change maybe. Ship my orders most to, is it to the United States or elsewhere. Then we can come to the variants here. If it's back, if it's bulk or price change here, listing change and all that. So I can just put all the details that I need here. So if I need to change most of the other things, I click on edit before listing. And what this will do, it will give me the option to change all the details here. Maybe change the title. Maybe I'll just add the word new. Then tags, we can add the tags. We can say men shirts. So those are the tags that we are using. We can put all the tags there and then we can change the category here. We can type our own. So that is what you can do with editing before listing. Now, if you are satisfied with the details of the product, you can come to the description again, change the description here. Maybe you don't have the 5XL. Now I can delete the 5XL there. Maybe we also don't have the small one here. I just delete the small one before I list. Then I can look for any other details that maybe the product I have does not, I don't need those such details. Then I just edit that. I can edit the images. I can edit the variants. I can edit the shipment. I can also edit others here. So if now I'm satisfied with that, I'll simply come here and click on list it now. So you may receive this notification about listing failing, and this may depend on your country. And so it's very different on how you correct each one of them. You simply click on the read details here, and it brings you here why the listing may fail. And you now select one that affects you. For instance, instance, you may have category issues. The international selling agreement has not been accepted. You notice for some sales, you need to have an international selling agreement, which may be in my account we do not have, which definitely in this account we do not have. And then sometimes eBay does not allow products with attribute quantity to be listed. So you need now to just know why your product is not being listed. And then you can correct that, including the incorrect photo. So in this case, we know that in my account, I do not have the international selling agreement listed. And so even if I click on list now, I get these details and I can read the article to know the reason for that. And that is how you connect CJ drop shipping to eBay, just like you can see our store here for eBay has already been connected. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Kindly like it, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.